director Rajasthan Pakshika Group, recipients of KCK International Award for Excellence in Print Journalism, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It's indeed a proud privilege for me to be present amidst you on this happy occasion and to distribute the awards to some eminent journalists who, because of excellence in their profession, they have been recognized as a good performer. Journalism has a long history in our country and it is closely associated with our independence movements, with our social reforms and also dealing with many issues which are of national importance and significance from economic, political, social point of view. Print journalism has its own impact because a good editorial, a good investigating story, a good comment on some social issues have permanent impact on the mind of the leaders. I still remember as a young man when I lived, of course I was in the teaching profession, but not in public life. A marvelous article written by editorial, written by a newspaper not published from India, but from region Pakistan, now Bangladesh, Ittepak. The short point is, that the writers, through his column, find out a place in the mind of the readers. You will be surprised to know that many of the important social reformers, they also adopted to convey their message to the common people and to the persons concerned of the message through newspaper. For example, whom all we recognize as a path breaker reformer and doyen of Indian Renaissance, Raja Ramahun Rai, he brought out a newspaper in 1819 as Samachar Chandrika and also a Farsi newspaper. Mirajul Akbar. Gandhiji himself edited two important journals, Origin and Young India. Even nowadays, many important political leaders, they write themselves, particularly the leaders of the communist movement, they always express their views through their own party newspapers, apart from general newspapers, and many of them were prolific writers. Influence of newspaper is not confined to any territorial limit. Many years ago, more than 200, at least 150 years ago, 50, 60 years ago, in Calcutta, 
a newsprint a newspaper was published in english by one mr harish chandra mukherjee it was known as patriot and the influence hindu patriot the title was hindu patriot the influence was so much that when british government debated in the house of commons many a members quoted profusely from horish mukherjee the editorials and comments in hindu papers and that created a favorable atmosphere to pass the necessary legislations banning indigo plantation in india technology has closed relations with media print and electronic <clears throat> during our days it was not possible to identify a brilliant debater from the television participation because television participation was very limited today you can spot and identify and somebody may emerge as a brilliant debater and speaker from the television talks or discussions which are taking place influence of social media already has been mentioned by the chief editor of the group and naturally when radio was first introduced in india it was not massively introduced at that time it was scarcely but european and american politicians used it very profusely <coughs> sir stafford trees who was an important member of the british cabinet was known for his oratory through radio apart from parliament during the second world war particularly in the first two years of the most aggressive attack of german on almost the whole of europe they were effectively resisted at stalingrad i don't know what is the new name of it names have been changed but at that time it was known as stalingrad England was almost daily bombarded several times, and there was a bad acute shortage of weapons. Now they frantically asked for supply of weapons from United States of America. In fact. in terms of the production of the war materials america was not really advanced at that point of time its place was 17 below even belgia and whole euro faced a crisis because germans not only captured the country but they used the productive machines of that country to produce war materials weapons so that their supply of weapons and materials are quite adequate now rubel did not have very good relations with american industries because of his new deal but he thought a novel way of appealing to them so in the evening chat it was known through radio he started preaching hit roosevelt love america produce weapons after a few days 
these books for sales of different industries, they came to the radio and said, reply, we love our president, we love America, we will listen to you. And America emerged as one of the largest manufacturers of all sandals. <coughs> I would not like to prolong my observations. <coughs> Eminent persons who are sitting here, all of them are fully aware of it. I am glad to have this opportunity of conferring the awards on the distinguished recipients for his professional excellence and I have no doubt this will inspire others to follow their path. I wish them all success, Godspeed in their future endeavor. Thank you. Thank you.